Hi guys, welcome back to Lone Fox. It is Drew here, and today I have a new DIY video for you. This one's going to be all about like anthropology inspired room decor. Anthropology is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite stores to shop at, but don't get me wrong, like this store is expensive. A lot of their stuff is very expensive. I go up to a base and be like, oh, I hope this is like $24 and it ends up being $168 and you're kind of confused. So my whole mindset behind this was that I wanted to recreate a couple of very expensive items I've seen on their website and also just recreate one of my very own things. It's like anthropology inspired and that's exactly what I did but I think you guys are going to absolutely love these projects I personally think that they're some of my best ones I've done and they're so usable they look so expensive high end like they legit look like you bought them at anthropology and I'm so happy with how they turned out if you're not already make sure to subscribe to my channel I post brand new DIY and home decor videos every single week and if you just want more Lone Fox you can follow me on Instagram at Lone Fox home for your daily dose of DIY and if you want more of myself and my fashion and my style and just everything else Drew Scott you can get your daily dose of Drew at I'm Drew Scott on Instagram. So those are my plugs for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get into the projects. For this first project, I'm using some of the Easy Cast Resin. I'm also using the Mold Release, a little plastic bowl I got at the kids section in Target, some plastic sticks, some disposable cups, and some faux flowers. So what I'm using is this plastic bowl. I found it in the kids section, and the reason I'm using it is I'm gonna be using it as a mold. So I'm spraying the Mold Release in there first, and all of the um, acrylic supplies I got at Joann's, I used a 50% off coupon, super affordable. And then I'm pulling off these flowers I got from Joann's as well. And they are just a yellow, like really pretty rose. And I'm also pulling off some of the leaves so what I'm doing is getting two plastic cups and I'm gonna mix equal parts of the resin and the hardener so this one first I believe is the hardener and then there's a more yellowy liquid and this is the resin so you're pouring that in there um, you just want to have equal parts because once you mix them together it's going to sort of create a chemical reaction which is going to harden it and this is the project I was telling you guys about in the beginning where I, it's sort of like inspired from anthropology I didn't see this on their website or anything I just thought of it in my head and realized like oh this is something anthro would sell for probably 68 Dollars. Just tell it a place to call my own. But I'm tired of searching, tired of dreaming. Pour the parts together and then give it a good mixing as well. You want to mix each section for about two minutes just so that you really activate that reaction between the um, chemicals. And then you're going to mix it all up and you're going to pour it in your plastic bowl, which has now had the release that's dried on the inside. So once that's done, I just plopped in some of my flowers. And you can put anything you want in here. You can put dried flowers. would be so pretty. I just didn't have time to dry flowers so I just decided to use some faux ones um you can put anything in here like something really cool could be maybe like some sort of ephemera or something that you really want to save I don't know anything you could put in there and it will harden on the inside in a clear casing and then I created a little bit more resin mixed it up because it wasn't as full as I wanted it in the bowl and I just filled it up poured in the rest and this is going to finish off the project all you have to do is wait for it to dry it takes about 24 hours to dry once it was dry I just popped it right out and that was the finished project and this is what it looked like Birds in the sky. I just like I think this project is my favorite in the video and it is inspired by these anthropology wall mirrors that are so expensive, but they're so stunning and beautiful. So what I used was some silk flowers from the 99 cent store, um, some brass spray paint, a hot glue gun, and this hexagon wall mirror I found at Joann's Fabrics. And I'm just starting off by pulling off all of those flowers from the stems. And I just got a like a large assortment of flowers that were roses, daisies, like all these different types. And I also made sure that some of them had leaves on them because I really wanted to make it nice and full. So I laid all of my flowers out onto a cardboard surface. This is just something that I can use to protect when I'm spray painting. And after I have them all laid out, this is sort of like the assortment that I went for here. I brought them outside and I used a good coat of this Krylon 18 karat or 14 karat gold. I don't even remember which one. It is such a pretty spray paint. And I also get this at Joann's Fabrics as well. And I just gave everything a really good spray. I probably did a total of like four coats because I really, really, really wanted those um, pieces to have a full on like brass look, like really encased and like actually metalized, I guess you could say. And don't worry, if there's little bits that aren't sprayed, you're gonna see what I'm gonna do at the end to fix that. I brought it back inside once it's all dried and I sort of laid it out on my mirror, just placed it around where I thought it would look nice. And you can adjust this a lot prior to gluing it down. So that's exactly what I did. I really made sure that the placement was great before I glued it down. I 
I just really wanted it to sort of like flow nicely. So that's why I had some of those little stems and leaves sort of come off the edges and just um, the placement was really important to me. So I played around with it until I had something that I liked and then I used my hot glue gun and added a generous amount of hot glue to each piece and just glued everything down onto the mirror. And then after you have everything glued onto the mirror and dried, we are going to move on to the next step, which is bringing it back outside and you're gonna see exactly what I'm gonna do. With trees are kissing the clouds so now that everything is glued down, I used um, a little bit of paper towel and shoved it over the actual mirror and then I sprayed it once again. And I think that this is just going to finish it. And do not worry if this spray paint gets on your mirror, that is what's gonna add that very finished look to the project. So I sprayed it everywhere on top of the mirror, on top of the flowers and just gave it another generous coat just to sort of bond everything together. And then I just used a scrap piece of yarn because I realized I wanted this to be a hanging mirror and I spray painted that yarn as well with the gold um, spray paint. And then I just glued it on with some hot glue you can use E6000 if you want it to be extra secure, but I just used a ton of hot glue. Once that was dried, you can hang it up and you have your brand new brass wall mirror. Just tell it a place to call my own. But I'm tired of searching, tired of dreaming all alone. And the last project in this video is a throw blanket inspired by these ones from Anthropology, but they're almost $200 each. So I decided to create my own with some yarn, a throw blanket from Target, a crochet hook, and some scissors. And this is just one of those Nate Burkus throw blankets from Target. And I got a large crochet hook at Joann's Fabrics. And I started off by laying my uh, large blanket on the floor. And then what I did was use a ruler, which I forgot to mention in the supplies. And I just cut every single strip of yarn to a 12 inch length. You can do whatever length you want. And I honestly do suggest also getting the thickest yarn you can find because it just makes the process a lot easier and it also I think makes it just look a lot more expensive and like finished so I cut a ton of 12 inch lengths of yarn probably like 500 honestly and I laid four of them out at a time folded them in half and used my crochet hook to push through one side of the blanket and then up through the opposite side and then I pulled through four strands of yarn at a time this process is actually super easy it's just a little bit time consuming but it's really fun if you do like crafting so do not worry at all and once you have the loop, you're just going to pull the strands through and create like this little knot here. And it's very repetitive from here. You're just going to push your crochet hook through and then pull your four strands through in the middle section and then just pull the ending pieces through. As shown here, it's a lot easier to see what I'm actually doing on the video. And also keep in mind that the thicker knit your blanket is, or like if it is actually a knit blanket, it would be a lot easier to push this crochet hook through as opposed to what I'm using. Mine's like much more of a woven like stiff blanket, but it's the only one that I could find that kind of matched that that anthro style of the blankets that they already had. So I just finished this process, worked all the way down and just looped through all of my yarns. And I switched between this cream color and then I also switched into doing this like cream color that has a gray stripe through it as well. Where the legs are crystal clear. Cutting up some of these gray stripes now and then I'm just of course pulling four strands through and then looping them in and just going all the way down and I did it very random through on this blanket like I did not do any rhyme or reason I just randomly placed them I did like seven um, little tassels in some sections and then some sections I only did three it was just very random how I did it and that finished off this blanket So guys, those are my projects for today and I hope that you really enjoyed them. I personally absolutely love them. I think that the blanket right here is probably one of my favorite things I've ever created and it's just so actually useful and it's very pretty. How freaking cool is this? Like a little paperweight type of situation. I don't exactly know what you can do with this. I'm actually going to just put it on the top of my toilet, uh, the back side of my toilet there and I think it's just going to be like a little pretty accent like next to a candle like in the bathroom. So I'm going to put that there and then the gold mirror is hanging in the living room above the fireplace and it looks stunning. It looks so good and I can't believe that legit cost $10 to make. So pretty. I love it so much. And yeah, I think that's all for today's video. Definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos every single week. And I can't wait to start getting into the holiday decor. And that is everything for this video. I hope that you really enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment letting me know what your favorite project was. And also leave a comment letting me know if you are excited for the holiday decor because I have so many holiday videos planned and I want to start rolling them out very soon so you have so much time to just decorate for Christmas and stuff. But I love you all so much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. All alone. I'm not asking for much. Just tell it a place.